These are the best free video editing software for PC without watermarks, including the ones I use on this channel. Number one is CapCut. This is the one I've used to edit most of the videos on this channel, and I love it because of its simplicity. In fact, anyone with no editing skill can grab it and start editing a video from day one. It is available on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. And there's also an online version which makes it accessible on any device. It is a non-linear editor that has both the basic and advanced features you will find on paid tools. Some of the basic features in CapCut are the layers for video, audio, text, and so on. And on this left menu bar, you will find tools to split, delete, freeze, reverse, or mirror your content. All which can be customized to a keyboard shortcut to make your editing easier. And with one click on the ratio box, you can change the size of your video to square or vertical, which will be handy if you want to repurpose your long videos to shorts. These four shortcuts on the right are real time saver, and you won't find two of them on other software including some paid options. For instance, if I move this clip away, a space will be left there which means you have to drag other clips to fill it. Whereas if you turn on the main track magnet, all other clips will fill that space automatically. You can move any element freely, and if you want it to align with other elements, you can simply turn on snapping, and it will be aligned to the other elements as well as the playhead, with the green line indicating this effect. There are some times when editing where you would want to delete a clip and everything above and below it, which in other tools you would have to delete them one by one, but with CapCut you can simply turn on linkage, and everything related to that section will be deleted with the clip. If you want to move across your timeline with other editing tools, you have to click on the playhead from above and drag it through the timeline, but with CapCut, you can turn on the preview axis and move your mouse across to see the preview. And unlike other tools, you can click on any empty space on the timeline to shift your playhead there without going to the top to do so. Those are just some of the basics. CapCut also has advanced features like auto captions, which will turn your speech into text that can be customized to your preference, which will be useful for adding subtitles to YouTube or captions for TikTok. There's also text to speech on the right, which will read out your text in different voices of male and female. All links in the description below. All links in the description below. You can also remove the background of your video with one click and replace with another. And there is an image upscaler which will improve the resolution of your blurry images. It also has an AI you can use for color correction of your footage and you can bring your old photos to life with colors using photo restoration. It has more tools you can use for free, but you'll need to sign up to remove the watermark from your exported videos. If you have a shaky footage, you can correct it by turning on Stabilize for that clip. And CapCut has a movable keyframe that can be used to create even more effects like zooming, panning, and many more. You'll be able to choose different animations from the most basic ones like fading to really cool animations. And there are a lot of cool effects that can be applied to your videos and photos, which will be useful for social media or just to show your friends how cool you can edit. The only thing I wish they could add is the ability to draw shapes like rectangle and circle in order to add annotations and progress bars like the one you see on my videos, which means I had to use another tool for that which I'll share in a moment. The only thing you can do on CapCut for now is to add stickers to your videos, which is also useful but quite limiting. Another thing to note is that CapCut is owned by ByteDance, which is the company that owns TikTok, and the implication of that is that it is not accessible in some countries that have banned it like India. And also, some users are reporting that some features are now paid which they said gave them the ability to upload their projects online and collaborate with others using TeamSpace. I'm currently running the latest version on my PC and mobile, and I haven't seen any paid feature, so they may be testing it in a few countries for now. Another free video editing software you can use is DaVinci Resolve. This is a professional video editor and is geared toward advanced users. It's a pro-grade software that professionals use to edit in TV and movie studios. It's definitely not as easy to use as CapCut, but it's the best free option if you are looking to edit YouTube documentaries or add some professional motion graphics, animations, and color grading to make your videos really stand out. It's available on Windows, Mac, Linux, and iPad. DaVinci Resolve is becoming the industry standard with the new edition of Team Collaboration, and is already taking away market share from Adobe as more and more video editors are switching to it and leaving Premiere Pro. I personally use it only when I need to make some cool effects or animations like the one you saw at the beginning of this video, but for those who have the time to learn it, it is definitely the best free alternative to Premiere Pro.
You'll have to log in to download Resolve, and after installation you will see seven pages each of which has its own usage. The media page is where you can import and access your files such as your video footage, b-rolls, images, and audio. The cut page is where you can make some quick cuts to your video to remove some parts you won't need in your edit. Next to it is the edit page. This is where you'll spend most of your time to edit and I rarely use the previous two pages since I can simply drag my media here and start editing straight away. You will find the blade tool on the toolbar to split your video, and you'll also see other tools like the trim tool, the snapping mode, zooming, among others. You can also add transitions on the effects tab at the top, which include many advanced transitions and text effects you can use. The next page is called Fusion. This is where you can add shapes and elements that can be transformed to your likings. It's also the page where you can add these connecting nodes to create motion graphics, animations, and add 3D video effects like this one and more. It does take some time to get used to it, but can be powerful to make some cool edits. Then we have the color page, which is where you can make color corrections to your footage and have access to professional color grading tools. This is a standalone tool on its own and one of the reasons many professionals use DaVinci Resolve as it outshines many other tools in this aspect. Next to it is the Fairlight page, which controls the audio, and you can add a lot of effect to your audio here as well. And then we have the Deliver page, which, as the name suggests, is where you will export your files in a specific format you want. While all these pages may look overwhelming, my time here is mostly spent on the Edit and Fusion pages, and if you look up on Google you will find free plugins or templates to use on DaVinci Resolve which will make your editing faster. One thing to note is that it takes a lot of resources on your computer, which means it won't work well on older PCs like the third tool in this video, and that there are two versions on their website, both the free and paid options. The paid option is a one-time payment for those who need the more advanced features, but for most people watching this video, the free option is enough. The third best free editing software is VSDC. This is the first video editing tool I started with many years ago because it works well on my old PC, and even according to their website, it is stated to work on outdated PCs, which makes it the right choice for low-end computers. It is available on Windows and Mac, and they recently added an iOS version for Apple users. It's simple and easy to use for beginners, and has other tools you can download with it like screen recorder and converters, all of which are free. It's also a non-linear editor and has many features as well like transitions, filters, chroma key, visual effects, text effects, among others. And it also has a cheap paid option which will give you access to advanced features like motion tracking, masking tool, video stabilization, slow motion, and so on. The main reason why I still use it and recommend it is its ability to draw shapes. You can draw rectangles, circles, stars, and even hearts with its free shape tool. And since you can add transitions like wipe or push, you can easily create some cool looking progress bar or loading circle. And by combining multiple shapes together with wipe animation, I'm able to add these progress bars to my videos which many of you have asked for. You can use DaVinci Resolve for this as well, but it's very difficult to do without getting lost in the Fusion tab if you're a beginner. But if you have access to Premiere Pro or Camtasia, then it's much easier to do with them, although they are both paid tools. Other notable mentions you can use to edit your videos are OpenShot and Shotcut, both of which are free and open source with no watermark and are very popular as well. And if you use a lot of B-rolls or create faceless videos, a bonus one you can use is Canva. It has a lot of templates for different platforms with a wide library of videos, photos, and audio. It's also free to use with no watermark provided that you don't use any of the paid elements. However, it has a lot of pro features you won't find in any other tool, one of which is the ability to create multiple scenes in bulk. You can click on this video to learn more about that. And if you learn one or two things from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below, and thank you for watching.